So, you want to fly as Acrobat? I got you! In order to fly as Acrobat, you need the three abilities Lacerate, Hop, and Wall Jump, which you can get at level 48 if you ignore a couple useful abilities on the way. It gets even easier to fly once you are level 60 because you can unlock Pirouette. I'll explain all these abilities in this video, and I have ability trees and mid-game builds in the video description for different level ranges. With Acrobat, your right left right spell becomes an ability that moves you forward and launches you upwards at the end of the spell. Combined with a well-timed hop, you can go even higher. Pro tip, Lacerate completely cancels any falling momentum. Hop is a double jump ability that activates by double tapping your jump button. Ah, I hate this stupid phone. And wall jump reduces the two second cooldown on hop by one second, which is a really important upgrade. If you hop before Lacerate launches you upwards, your hop's momentum will add to a Lacerate and you can go much higher. There's a sweet spot and that sweet spot is what I mean by a well-timed hop. This is the most important part about flying, as this is how you gain height. You can learn how to time this by having your sounds turned on and listening for the third swing of Lacerate. Listen closely. I'll slow it down. You want to time your hop on the third swing in order to get the strongest upwards launch. With this upwards launch only happening at the end of last rate, this means you can't just spam spells in order to fly. Instead, flying is patient and controlled. Here's the training challenge. If you time your hop and last rate perfectly, you will launch yourself so high that you take fall damage. Take fall damage three times in a row, and this means you understand the timing. I still do this to practice, sort of like a warm-up, and plus, it's a fun little challenge. Taking fall damage three times in a row is honestly pretty hard. Once you can do that, you can actually practice flying around by casting Lacerate, Hopping, and casting Dash Attack, and repeating this cycle. The longer you can stay off the floor, the better you're getting at Acrobat. Casting Dash Attack is just so you can go faster horizontally, as well as avoiding the spell cost penalty on last ring. There's an ability later in the tree called Pirouette, which makes Dash Attack a much more versatile ability, but I'll talk more about this later. All right, so now we know how to fly and gain height, but how much mana regen will our builds need so we don't run out of mana? And here's the cool thing about that. Weightless, an ability that you unlock right before hop, lets you gain mana every time you hit an enemy, but only while you're in the air. This ability is incredibly strong. Smoke Bomb, Last Rate, Shurikens, Jasmine Bloom, and Multi-Hit will all provide mana while you are attacking an enemy. And yes, this means you will need to learn how to spell cast while flying in the air. As a result, Wayless reduces the amount of mana regen you would need in order to sustain this playstyle. Here, let's practice. Unlike that training challenge, this time you are not allowed to touch the floor. Practice combining Hop into Lacerate, and you should do this above a combat dummy like the ones you can find in Ragni. Normally, as a high-level acrobat, you will have the ability Jasmine Bloom, which has an area of effect that deals damage to enemies around you and far below you. Jasmine Bloom is the easiest damage source that applies to Weightless and gains mana for you. If you aren't high level, you will need to rely on this next option, Smoke Bomb. Casting a Smoke Bomb while flying is pretty easy. Your best moment to cast is after Last Rate sends you upwards, and you don't need to cast the Smoke Bomb every time. Smoke Bomb lasts for 5 seconds, so you can wait and cast Smoke Bomb on the next Lacerate, like this. Next up is Multi-Hit. Multi-Hit will be a great source of damage for you, but landing it on your enemy may take practice. There are cases where it won't be worth it to go for Multi-Hit since the enemy might have annoying projectiles. Instead, you can rely on the previous two options to deal damage and gain mana while flying. My preferred way to mix Multi-Hit into your flying is to cast it at the same time as Hop. Hop is separate from spellcasting and because of this, you can double jump even while attempting to cast Multi-Hit. So, the time frame to cast Multi is at at least after Lacerate and while you are still in range of your enemy. Implementing multi-hit into your gameplay really makes Acrobat so entertainingly dynamic. And last, Shurikens. 
After casting your dash spell, your next melee attack will throw shurikens. It's pretty easy to implement a dash spell into your flying cycle. For example, you can cast dash after gaining height from lacerate. You can aim this dash in any direction to move in whatever direction you want, except upwards, since dash attack will only let you dash in an upwards direction once until you reach the ground again. All right, it's time to talk about the glorified training wheels, riding reflex and pirouette. I'll be honest, riding reflex is completely unnecessary. However, it is very nice to have if you are unable to cast multi-hit fast enough, as riding reflex gives you more time by stopping and slowing your fall. Holding down your sneak button will activate riding reflex, giving you a moment to cast your multi-hit, then cast lacerate and start flying again. Riding reflex is definitely a preference. Give it a try and see if you like it. Pirouette is also unnecessary, but it's pretty fun. Pirouette acts as a fail-safe in case you dip too low towards an enemy. What the ability does is if you touch an enemy after casting dash, you will bounce off of them, kinda like Sonic. All that's left is to practice, play, and get used to acrobat. To be clear, this entire video I've been recording myself flying around with full morph set and the weapon slider, which does not provide any mana at all. Morph set comes with 65 intelligence, provides minus 5 spell costs on all spells, and at most provides 40 mana regen. And I was sustaining perfectly with almost full mana the entire time. Similar results can be acquired pretty easily without having to be max level. An example build for each level will have a link below in the video description. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching.